you hit the button? I hit the button. He hit the button. It says Rick. Wait, wait. On the top. Cut, cut, cut. You know, Tony told me he was going to give me a candy wait, wait. box. Ready, set, and action. Okay, here's video, full build, high frost USB with Gen 5. Get a raw board from Jax. And the first thing we need to do is do a little blob on the standoff to ground it to the rest of the chassis. And scratch a little paint off. Uh, now. It's ultra gray to glue the heat sink on. It keeps the heat sink from falling off and it also helps spread the heat out uh, amongst the heat sink. That regulator doesn't necessarily get that hot, but it's a precaution. It gets hot enough to do that. Okay, and we put some standoffs in. Each one of us have our own method for doing a lot of this stuff, like standoffs, heat sinks. This is mine. Okay, ready for some cards. Got the uh, Bifrost multi bit card. And that needs a little DSP chip. There's already one in there. Program the chip. It's real fast. Gen 5, Gen 5 M actually, the Bifrost and Gooniers take the M, the Gen 5 is for the Iggy, because Iggy's special, we need a special one for Iggy, they're both the same thing, they just work different because of the different boards, so I got everything plugged in, ready to go, turn it on, Yes, I listen to the police while I'm working. Now we need to program the motherboard. And that's it. Now we wait for it to turn on and start giving the sound. Takes forever. I have to wait for this stuff too. Waiting and waiting and waiting. comes Jason, right at the right time. <laughs> uh, just, uh, by cross build.
Everything's working. Plug it. And that down the board. And that's that. Put it back in the bag here. And it goes off to Miles to be put in a chassis. Nice. There you go. Tony said he's going to give me That's a candy bar for putting this bifrost together for me. Alright, so, I am Miles. I'm your builder today. Wow. There you go. Yeah. So, we're unwrapping everybody. Everybody's getting all happy and unwrapped and all this happiness going on here. Now we got the back. Now, before we even start our little assembly process, Tony's disappearing on me. Why are you disappearing on me? Where are you going? Is this an end here? He is. That's the number that somebody's going to get. This is the one that's filmed. So here it is, right here, on the spot. Right, Tony? Sure. What? What? You got it. You I can't hear it. you. I can't hear you. Speak up, manly man. This is good YouTube. This good YouTube? Quality YouTube. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. So anyways. You give good too. I give to You give good you. <laughs> I'd rather give good tube than good you. So, knobs, buttons, whatever you want to call them. You know, you got a little knob. So we got to put that little bugger in the hole. So, there we go. Are you making that smoke crap around my spot again? Tony makes all this smoky crap around here, and then I gotta smell it. Oh, see, now you made me forget all the screws. Alright, so now, we gotta get our screws for putting the back on. Again, this is video number two, because somebody, oops, and then put everything in the frame. Tony, why are you being so quiet over there? Because you, the, the spotlight's on you, bro. Spotlight's on both of us. Right now. Oh, I'm. Oh, wow. Look at that. See that? It's making me a rock star. Look at you that. You are a rock star. I am a rock star. You're my rock star. Wow. <laughs> wow. Did you hear that, folks? I'm Tony's rock star. I don't know what I do to make him rock bit. There you go. So we're putting five of these screws in the back. Make this all happy and go lucky and all this other stuff. And Tony here in a minute is gonna to have to grab the camera and show how we put the lights on. Because he wants to show off how we do the lights. That's just the way he is. Alright, so right now we have no lights in there at all. All the lights are just kind of floating around. So now <coughs> Put on the old spectacles. All right, you ready? Grab your camera. Is this, this is how we do it. Yeah, this is the way we do it with the big boys. Oh, you didn't have me do this. See, I'm doing it the hard way. This is not the way I normally do this. Because well, don't I, you do it the way you normally do it. Well, I'm doing it right now. Normally, I bend. I normally bend those first right. before we get all happy here. And then they go in a lot easier and straighter and less problems. Right, Eddie? Right. That's Eddie across the way. You've heard him before. Sometimes they don't go in so happily. So then we gotta fight with them to get in. Now this is, I got a comment. What is your comment? On one video, a guy was saying he thought that we had a special bracket that lines all the LEDs up. Oh no, definitely not. <laughs> no, definitely not. This is the way we do this. We do it the manly way. That's right, brute you know. force. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. We, we don't have a steam engine, we have a rowboat. That's it. There we go. And then Eddie's asking Winthron, 
if he likes curry. So there we go with that. So that's how that's all put together. And as you can see, all the lights are out. Now, let's go back. Now, here comes the fun part. Or the part. So now, we put the back to the front and we start screwing around. Oh, that's RJ. RJ's walking around saying good morning everybody. He's doing his thing. Alright, so we have the whole back assembly all together. Now we got to put all the screws in. Otherwise it'll just fall out and then you guys will call us up and whine and bitch and moan and all the other stuff. And then we're just going to have do to go Do we stay back. on the same torque on the back screws as we do on the front screws? Yes. Because I know how to put them in and when to stop. Because if you don't stop, then you strip them out because they're plastic. I like uh, Rockstar over there. Now we're switching off into these other screws over here. So pretty much putting it all together. And there it is. Look at that. See, screwing around, Tony. And then we got this all over here. Do you know why we call him Tony? Or actually, why we call him Fiat? Fix it again, Tony. That's why I call him Fiat. Right? Fix it again, Fix it again Tony. Oh, look at that. No, we just broke a tip. We broke a tip, ladies and gentlemen. Like I was saying. Look at that. We have a broken tip. So, now, that will go in the trash. Now we gotta go ahead and put a new tip on. Okay. What happened? Yeah, that's break it. Break it again, Miles. Break it again, Miles. Look at that. There you go. You got to see a tip break. For occasion. We don't do that very often, do we, Tony? No, not at all. Yeah. Well, now that we got actual impact tips, which I don't know why you're not using. What? Where? Nobody tells me anything. I'll give you one. Oh, you're gonna give me one? Where's my candy bar? There you go. You have a bifrost complete, did and done. And somebody's going to have that number. There's the Willy Wonka bifrost. Oh, there. You had to help me out. I can't see the screen. Thank you, dear. Excellent job, Mark. Peace. These are our bifrosts on the burn rack. They'll burn till tomorrow. Uh, I think there's 40 of them here. It's a lot. Yep, all bifrost multi bit. Gen 5 USB. See, we got some yotes down there. Some saga. Now, when he does Valhalla pretty soon, I'm gonna get a night shot of Valhalla on the burn rack. It's freaking gorgeous. So, yeah, bye, Frost. All right, next we will see Bill audio testing the Bifrost.
Anderson, we're going to be famous. That's right. We're going like, to be on ABC News.